Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha, and in this video, I will be talking about some of the pre-op protein shakes I've tried, I've liked, I just like, and what I actually have to follow, um, like my qualifications and which protein drinks I can have. But first off, if you guys aren't already, make sure you guys are subscribed and thumbs up this video. It really helps. Um, currently, I literally just washed, washed my hair, so it's probably like dripping wet. I haven't decided which style I want to do yet. Um, definitely let me know down below, um, just saying like yes or no, if you guys want to see more hair related videos. I know I've really like bombarded you guys all year so far with a lot of weight loss related videos. So um, let me know if you guys want me to bring back some natural hair videos. I tend to put pictures on my Instagram. Uh, Monet Stay Curvin, I'll put that down below as well, but um, this video is strictly about um, my weight loss surgery, but like I said, if you guys want to know or want to see more videos about my hair, it is, as you guys can see, very, very long, and I just washed it, um, definitely let me know down below. But anyway, getting into this video, um, I wanted to talk about some of the requirements my doctor has, and my, my hair is so wet. And my doctor has and my um, program has for me. So right now I'm in the pre-op stage. Um, okay, la la, yes, more hair. Got you, girl. So um, my pre-op program, like I said, is four months long. Um, the pre-op diet, like the liquid diet or the restricted diet, is only two weeks long. And you usually go on that two weeks prior but it's always good to like try protein shakes now and see what you like, see what you don't like, see what your requirements are with your doctor and things like that. So um, the requirements for pre-op is a little bit different than post-op. Um, pre-op, um, some of the shakes that they said is um, just protein, adding water and milk, no additives, and that's like for meal replacement. Um, I can use the Athens special K protein shake or the special K protein shake. But the things about those two that I've noticed in the supermarket is they have like a lot of lot a lot a lot of sugar. So like I said, that's something that I can have pre op, you know, just getting used to it. Um the sugar the sugar that I've seen was like 18, 18 grams of sugar in the protein shake. And it doesn't have I know the special K's they don't really have that much um protein in it. shakes is a special K um, powdered protein Atkins and those are the three that are examples and then another one is um, some meal replacements such as like the bars you can do special K bars Luna protein bars which are really really good I like those and um, I never heard this one but the think think thin bar those are um, three of their examples that you can use. Like I said, if you do your own research and you find something you, you actually like, that is a go-to as well. So then I'm going to talk about post-op. Um, post-op is a little bit different, um, the ones that they want you to do and, and what they want you to stay in between. And those are the ones that I've been looking at now just so you know I have a feeling of it. My pre-op so far isn't like that long. So, um, you know, I feel as if, you know, I really want to get right into business to what I actually need to use. Because I could say if my pre-op was like a year long, then, you know, I would do like more of the special case and try to like get used to it. But mine is only, um, hey, Tony, girl, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Um, my pre-op process is only four months, and I'm in the end of month three. Next month is my last month. So, like I said, if my pre-op program was more like six months, nine months, or a year, I would definitely, like, start off with, like, the special K's and the sweeter ones and then go into the, like, zero sugar and less than five grams. So I'm going to talk about some of the stuff that they want you to do um, post-op, what, what, like, they literally say you have to choose off of this list unless you like talk to them, but they give you like a lot of choices. Like it's not like it's three or four, like it's a lot. So the first one is the powdered protein. You can use um, all the way, all the way protein. You can use um, GNC Pro Protein, 100% whey powder, Design Whey Protein, um, 
I don't know how to say this, but U-N-J-U-R-Y powder. So they give you five of the powdered ones. I think I might go with a powdered one. Um, not right away, but that's definitely something I'm going to look into later on because I love smoothies. So I think smoothies may be my thing um, after the whole, like, liquid protein stage. So anyway, um, some of the liquid proteins that they give you examples of, which one of these I haven't tried yet, two of them I haven't tried yet and I want to try, is the Ensure High Protein, and it's uh, 14, 14 ounces, 25 grams of protein, and 5 grams of sugar. Now, um, the protein drinks, they have to be under 5 grams of sugar, and you want to do at least 20 grams of protein in each drink. They have some on here that's like 17 or 12, and that's really because they're less than calories. Um, but me personally, oh, I'm like so wet from my hair. But me personally, I really want to do and pick um, protein drinks, protein drinks and try protein drinks that are at least um, 20 grams of protein. So they have the Ensure High Protein, the Premier Protein, um, And it says, it has an asteroid by the Premier Protein, and it says, this comes in fruit flavors and unsweetened, which can be added into your broth and food, which is good because, let's say if you're eating chicken broth or um, even like water, you can add that into your water where you're getting water and protein, or you can add it into your broth where you're getting protein in as well. So that's, that's definitely a good um, tip for me. And then I read this already, I think, Atkins Advanced. I haven't looked into Atkins. Then they have the Muscle Milk Light. I, have no, I haven't seen the light. Um, I have seen the Muscle Milk Regular, but the light has um, zero grams of sugar, 20 grams of protein, then it's 14 ounces. So I may look into that. Um, there is Carb Control Shake. That's 17 grams of protein, so I probably won't go near that. They have the, pe per, um, they have the Pure Protein Shake. That 35 grams of protein, that's awesome. So I definitely want to try the um, Premier Protein, but not the shake. I don't know if it's called Premier Protein or Pure Protein, but it's a liquid. It kind of looks like um, Crystal Light or something. It's the liquid form of protein. I heard it's nasty, but I want to try it for myself. Everybody's taste buds is different. Um, but I want to try that because I'm a really big fan of like Crystal Light and the packaged um, Crystal Lights and all that stuff. So. I definitely want to try that, um, and I believe that has 20 grams of protein in it. Um, but yeah, like I said, it, t it tells you to choose a protein shake that's at least 20 grams of protein, 5 grams of sugar or less, and then 20, 250 calories per shake. And um, do not, not all protein shakes are appropriate. So yeah, they definitely, if, if it wasn't on the list that I just read for, for me, they definitely want to make sure that you um, talk to them first. So uh, you are doing a great job letting us in on the details. Thanks, Lala. I'm trying to, yo, because I've been seeing, you know, like I see people on here that's had weight loss surgery maybe two to five years ago in that range, and I feel like, you know, they weren't really given a lot of information. And then I've seen people that's, that's had weight loss surgery in like 2018, and you know, they're, they're putting their process out there, and um, I think it really helps, like, it's, re it's really helping me, so I really want to help someone else. I, I know a few people on my channel, um, they're not, they don't want to get weight loss surgery, but they're, you know, you're just interested, you know what I mean? And then I just have other people that support me, which is awesome, so, um, yeah, I'm just giving someone some information, maybe they want to get it or they don't want to get it, I don't know. So anyway, I wanted to start off with Slim Fast, the old faithful. Everybody has heard of Slim Fast before. So this one is the Slim Fast Advanced Nutrition. It has 20 grams of protein, 1 gram of sugar, 1 gram of net carbs. What else are you looking at? Oh, and 180 calories. This, I don't really like. Um, I drank one. I don't think I've ever drank like a whole one and like finished it. Um, Dean likes them. My son's father. And he's actually trying to gain weight, so this would be good for him to eat on a side, like for a drink with a meal, or like for a snack, uh, and then have a meal. Like me, this would be a whole meal replacement for me, like no food, just this. But for him, it would be good for him, um, you know, to gain some weight. So, um, yeah, or he'll have the ones, um, 
There's another one that I tried as well. It's Swim Fast. Clearly, I don't have it because it was so good. I think he drank like two of them, and I drink two, but that one actually had caffeine in it, and I'm not supposed to have caffeine um, after surgery. So it was the Swim Fast. I believe it had the same stuff, but it had caffeine in it. It was caramel, and it was it was so good. Oh, my God. And I'm not a caramel person, number one. I'm not like a milky person because it definitely took me a while to drink. Like, you would have thought I had surgery already because it took me about, um, I'm going to say 30 minutes to an hour to drink. Like, I couldn't, like, chug it, you know what I mean? But it gave me a lot of energy, like a Red Bull would because I don't drink coffee. I might drink a Red Bull, like, three, four times a year, like, something like that. So it's something I'm not used to. So when I do drink um, something that's caffeinated, I'm like on 10. So yeah, I wouldn't, I don't know, I don't like strawberry like that. Strawberry and cream, like it's too milky, it's nasty. It's not chalky though. It's definitely not chalky. So on a 1 to 10, 10 meaning I'll buy it, I would probably give this a 4. Like it's on a range of like 4 to 5. Like it's not the worst, but it's also not the best. But the caramel is probably something I'm going to buy again. Um, later on in my journey, probably like six months post-op, if I can drink caffeine then, I'm definitely going to do that because that jump is really good. Um, another thing I bought, which is a actually a plant-based protein, and I only, this was um, I think $3.95 for a four-pack, only because they were on sale. Um, they were on clearance because this one is actually going bad soon. It goes bad in November. This goes bad in a year. No, this goes bad in less than a year. It goes bad um, April 26th next year. So these were on clearance because they're going bad. You know, you can't leave something in the store if it's going bad, I think, I think in nine months or 12 months, something like that. So anyway, they were rotating them. And I was like, oh, shit, like, it's not like it's going bad when I'm getting surgery because I get surgery hopefully, like, October, November. So I can still drink this. It's good until April. So this is the... Um, Oh, I don't know the name of it. Evolve, Evolve, I guess. E D O L V E plant-based protein shake. So this is actually vegan, which is awesome. Um, it has 150, 150 calories. The only thing, it does have six grams of sugar, but I wasn't. It wasn't like a pillar for me because it's not like it's 10 grams. They told me to pick five or less. I picked six. Like, not gonna kill me. So it has six. Um, 6 grams of sugar and 20 grams of protein. This is bomb. Yeah, this is bomb. Like, this is 8 out of 10. I haven't tried anything that looks really like, oh, shit, this is crazy. Because I'm not, I don't like protein. I don't like milky things. I don't care if it's plant-based or not. I'm just really not a fan. But this, this is good. Um, it's, it's like a, it tastes like vanilla, um, like that vanilla extract taste. Like, it tastes very... Well, it is organic. It tastes very natural, you know what I mean? Like, it tastes very... If you guys have ever baked a cake and you had, like, that vanilla bean or vanilla extract, that's what this tastes like. It tastes very, very good. If you ever have vanilla ice cream that has the vanilla bean blended into it, that's what this tastes like. This is really, really good. I, ha I only drink one because, you know, I want to save these um, when I actually have the surgery. I was just trying them out, but these were... I'm gonna say four ninety five. So basically a dollar each, right? Four ninety five. Well a dollar and some change each. Yeah. Like a dollar a dollar twenty five each, which I don't think is bad. Um, and that's only because like I said, they were on clearance because they go bad next April. So I think I'm gonna buy two more of the vanilla and I may try the caramel one. But this is really, really good. And like I said, I, I bought all of these from Acme. Um, I'm definitely going to try out Walmart only because a lot of these things, they say you can get, well, they say you can get it from GNC, Walmart, Target, in the vitamin shop. But I'm pretty sure Walmart has it and it'll probably be like the best option money-wise. So the next one I got is same thing, same brand. It's just chocolate. And this also has 6 grams of sugar. Um, let me see. It has 160 calories and it's 20 grams of protein. So this is another thing. I would say this, I'm not a chocolate, like I said, I'm not a protein person, but this is good as well. They all, of course, have to be chilled. You're not going to open this while it is warm. Like, no, I can't drink it that way. It has to be, like, 
freeze or cold. You know what I mean? It has to be really, really cold. Not where it has like ice in it or anything like that. But it may be good over ice. Mm. I don't know. That sounds good too. Because I know the vanilla is really, really good. I usually at work, I drank them both out when I was at work. And I drank, so it is 11 ounces. So I probably drank like six or five to six ounces on the first round, like 30 minutes. And then I put it back in the fridge. And then when I got hungry again, or for, you know, like a snack, I drank the rest of it. Um, you definitely have to shake it up. And it definitely, for me, has to be cold. Other than that, it's a win-win. These two are definitely going to be ones that I um, probably rotate in the beginning. I know for pre-op, um, for the pre-op, actually, you know, you can have some of the sweeter ones. But I might, you know, whatever I find and whatever I gravitate to most and whatever I find that's on sale. Because, you know, these have to be in your diet for like the first six to nine months, you know what I mean? So you definitely want to buy them in bulk. I, I personally want to buy them in bulk now um, because, you know, their shelf life is pretty good. They last for, I would say, two years maybe because I'm pretty sure these have been on the shelf for a while. Um... And they're, they still are not, they're still good for another nine months. And, I, you know, I'll finish these in, in nine months. So, because um, I think, you know, I think I have to have, let me read real quick. But I think I have to have, um, it says 60 to 80 uh, grams of protein a day. Now, you know, in the beginning, I know that's going to be very, very hard. But 60 grams of protein liquid-wise is three of those, you know what I mean? So I'm supposed to be having three of these a day, like that's a lot. So, um, and I heard, well, I've seen in women and men that have had the program, the more protein and water they have, the more weight they lose. So um, that is definitely, let me see, let me make sure I'm reading the right thing. Yep, so you're supposed to have 60 to 80 grams of protein. And I'm just honestly just talking about, you know, the first, like, few weeks because, you know, in stage, in certain stages, you, you know, you can go to parade food and soft food. And, I mean, I can have, like, chicken. I can have um, cottage cheese. I can have yogurt. I can have eggs. And those are different ways of getting in protein as well. But the first, like, two, three weeks, you know, protein shakes are going to really be my main source for um, protein. So that's why I'm really trying to like see what I like and what I don't like. I really need to try the um, the liquid one. I, I really want to try the liquid one. Um, I, I, I think it's called Premier Protein. If it's not Premier Protein, it's Pure Protein. I know it has protein in its name, but I want to try those. Um, I, think, I don't know. I think I would really like it, especially like I said, if it's cold. I do want to... Um, I do want to try a scoop as well. Like, I want to get a protein powder as well, um, just because I think that's going to help me get it in a lot faster. And those are a lot less calories, I see. Like, I don't see the most calories it is is um, 120. And, I mean, if you're doing two scoops, that's literally, like, almost all of your protein for the day. Uh, if you're mixing it with water, then it's, it's about 20 20 to 25 um, grams of protein in just one scoop. So if you do two scoops, it's about 40 to 50 grams of protein in just one. And then if you add milk with it instead of water, it's even more. So, you know, definitely um, reading this is really, really helpful because I've noticed um, the protein powder, you know, i got to taste it first, though. Um, but the protein powder seems a lot, you know, better than the protein shakes, but I'm not a protein person. Like, I just don't like it. So I need something that's, like, not chalky and all that stuff. And then I feel like I've had protein powder before, and I feel like the more flavors you mess with, the nastier it is for me at least. The only time I can really use protein is um, when it's mixed with, like, strawberries or maybe, like, you know, um, almond milk that's sweetened or um, even unsweetened is okay, but it has to be mixed with other things, yogurt and all that shit. So um, I think right now, no. But then you know what I could do um, once I get into, because I'm just reading this honestly right now, because those are the only ones I have. I've only tried four protein shakes so far, and literally I like three of them. So that's a good thing. And like I said, the strawberry one is really not like 
no, I'm throwing it away, never buying it again. Like, if it was on the shelf, I would pick it up, but I'd rather not, but I would pick it up. Um, who was I going to say? In week three to four, it says I can have, I think I can have yogurt. Mm -hmm. Well, it says I can have fish, tuna, the broth, hummus, tofu, beans, which have a lot of protein. Oh, wait, what's in stage one then? Hold on. I'm actually reading it as I go. I think in stage one... Oh, I didn't know that. So... In stage, in stage one, in stage, I'll definitely give you guys the rundown of like my diet and all that stuff when I'm closer. Cause I actually go to a class for this, which isn't a part of insurance, but whatever. Um, I can have non-fat cottage cheese, non-fat ricotta cheese, non-fat smooth light yogurt without um, fruit chunks. And what I was thinking is, um, I can also have cream of wheat, rice sugar, rice sugar, rice cereal, grits cook thin and I think with the yogurt and like the cream of wheat and all that stuff you can mix it with protein so I'm just thinking about all the ways like I can sneak protein in my diet um we actually have at my actually at Acme I don't know if you guys know about Acme but at the grocery store like I said a lot of this stuff was on clearance and uh, you know if you, if you use it within the next before the year is up um, you know, it's not going to go bad. I'm not sure when the protein went bad, though. Because that's something, I don't know how often I would be using it. I don't know. i gotta look. I got to look at it. But, of course, that's what I would go to first. And it's, it's actually vegan protein that's on sale. I think they have, like, the, the jar for um, $11, $10 or $11. So that's, like, really a steal. So I'm definitely um, going to look into getting that soon just so that, you know, I'm more prepared and um, I want to see, like, the specs of it and stuff like that. Um, and I also want to ask my doctor if it's okay as well because it's actually not on the list. Excuse me. But it does follow the requirements of the things I need to have. So, um, yeah. I think that's about it. I'm, like, extremely thirsty now because I've been talking for 22 minutes. But um, that's it. I definitely want to um, talk about the pre-op diet and the post-op diet and like the stages between like week one and two, like the first 14 days, and then week three and four, because I have like um, soft foods, parade foods, the regular diet, the liquid diet, and all that stuff. So um, probably in August, I'll talk about that more literally in like a week and a half. I can't believe, what's today? Like the 17th, like July definitely flew by. That's crazy. These months are really, really rolling. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm, like, almost close to being, like, good with the weight loss surgery and, like, almost there that I feel like everything is going so fast. I have no idea. But um, that is about it. I will talk to you guys probably next week. I have my sleep apnea appointment next week, next Monday. And then I have my three-month uh, doctor's visit Friday. And I'll give you, like, my stats and all that stuff. Um, goal is still to lose three pounds this month, uh, struggling, and that's because I ain't doing nothing. All I'm doing is really going to the gym. My diet is not the best, so um, I definitely need to crack down and lose those three. I can, I can literally lose three pounds in like two days. That's the sad part. It's just my eating is like really, really bad. So um, I'll talk to you guys later on, and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.